Thanks so much for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep you long, but y'all, if it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. The golden nugget is make some room. Make some room for what's to come. Y'all, think about it. Just imagine. I'm going to paint a picture. You're going to the store, right? Or going to the mall. You really want to go to the mall and you really have wanted to go there and see this new mall or whatever and, and, and go to the food court and, do, and just shop, 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 shop till you drop, right? So you get to the mall, you get to the parking lot and you're driving, you're trying to find a parking space. It's filled. It's filled up. It's filled. You go here, that slot's taken. You go here, that slot's taken. You go here, that slot's taken. And those of you who are ever going to outlets, y'all know how it is. Some people are parked on the grass. There's just no parking space. So what happens? If it's so, so full, do you really have access to get to the mall? To get in the mall? To get to the mall? Yeah, you can park your car on the side of the street and get a ticket to do it that way. But no, 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 no. You'll be like, oh, it's too crowded here. I'm not going to go. There's no there's no place place for me to park. So I don't have access basically to the mall because I can't I can't park. I don't have access. Same thing with your life. There are some things that's in your life right now that, you know, you have a, a kind of you got a feeling that this ain't the right. This ain't the right thing that I'm supposed to have. Not this right here. It's something else. And you'll know because there are certain things that you get signs and signals of that you know that, you know, there's something else that's supposed to be in that slot. But because we sometimes, I say we because I've been there, some, we get sometimes tricked by familiarity. Sometimes you can be with, have something so long, be with something so long, whether it's a piece of clothing or a friendship or whatever, that you're so familiar with it. Just being around it, you've gotten used to it to where you've gotten comfortable with it being around. You've gotten comfortable even in its not purest form. When I say purest form, it means that it doesn't fit you just right. But because it's been with you for so long, you just keep it around, right? And when you're praying and asking for and meditating and working hard to get the real thing, the real thing, right? You, you can't get it. Why? Because it doesn't have access to your life. Why? Because something else is in that slot. What's in the slot? The next best thing. You want the best thing, not the next best thing. You want the best thing occupied in your arena, in your arena, in your space. You don't want anything occupying your space that's not supposed to be there. And like I said, you guys, if it's occupied, that means whatever you're wanting, the real thing, the real best thing, it is doesn't have access to you because you have it occupied with something else y'all think about that you'll know what it is you'll know if it's not supposed to be there you'll just know you have signs and signals if you really 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 want to know what's supposed to be in your life trust me remember those signs and signals i was telling you guys about you'll get them loud and clear and don't get caught up in familiarity y'all don't get caught up in it because you have, you have people i can tell you when i was dating like over 20 years ago, I've been married now for almost 19 years. But when I was dating, I was dating out dating certain people and they were nice people. They were pretty good, decent people. Everybody have their flaws and have, you know, have their um, hiccups about them. But for the most part, they were nice people. But y'all, I knew the people that I was dating at the time that that was not, they were not the right ones for me. I just knew it. But I was still saying, God, where's a Prince Charming? I'm just waiting. Oh, who, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is he? And guess what? My Prince Charming, my husband today, my husband, my one and only husband, he couldn't, I couldn't reach him until I moved some things out of the way when I made room. When I made room, you guys, my Prince Charming came a running, running, run. Did I say running? <laughs> came, came running. I mean, it was just, it happened so fast, y'all. So fast. And when it happened, I was like, whoo, I was so grateful. But y'all, I did, it took me a while, a minute to get it. Why? Because I was into familiarity. I was like, okay, this, I'm comfortable with these people. 
uh, with this person. So I will, you know, I will try to stay and say, well, I'm going to make it work. And y'all, it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't want that. You don't want the next best thing. You want the best thing. It doesn't mean that that person that that's not right for you is a bad person. It just means that that person is for somebody else. It doesn't fit you just right. Remember, we talked about that just right. But anywho, y'all, make room. Make room for what's to come. Make sure your spaces aren't occupied. Whatever you've been asking for, you've been wanting new wardrobe, go in your closet and clean it out and get rid of all that old stuff you know you haven't worn in like two or three years. Give that stuff away so that you can add to your closet. Remember, if you're making room, that means you're adding to your life. That means you're adding to your life. And y'all, it goes with friendships. Sometimes we have certain friends we know this friend is draining. Uh, these people are draining and they're not adding to me spiritually. And you're like, okay, God, I need some, I need some new friends. I need some new friends to, to those new friends to think like I think and, and to take me where I need to go as far as being there in my right now. Cause you're right now. You sometimes can't deal with the yesterdays of friends. Y'all got that. You're right now. You can't handle your yesterday friends. So if you still got your yesterday friends and your new now, then you need to go and analyze because you're not going to get those new people who's going to actually uplift you and take you to another level, y'all, until you remove those friends. Now, I ain't say, I'm not telling you to just be abrupt and cut people off. Maybe you have to take some friends, friendships and move them down to associates. That means you go, you may not talk to them every day. You may not hang out with them every single day anymore. Just means you, you'll see them every once in a while. And you, it's from friendship to associate. They they won't know that you that, that they've been... Uh, you, that they've been, a, uh, you know, downsized, in other words. But as long as you're still keeping contact with them, that's fine. But, y'all, I'm telling you, if you're waiting, if you're waiting, still waiting on whatever you've been asking for and praying for and putting in the work and it hasn't gotten there, that means you need to make room. That means it means something's occupying that space. Make access, make some access so that so so they can get to you. It needs to park. It's trying. It's been circling the parking lot for a long time, y'all. And it's ne trust me, it's never gonna get tired. It's never gonna get tired of circling around the parking lot. It's just gonna keep circling the parking lot until a space is available. Now, when you make room. Then it can park into your life. I know that's corny, y'all, but y'all get the gist of it. Y'all make room. That's that's it. That's that's it. Make room. Make room. Make room. Make room. Talk to y'all soon, y'all. It's right at seven minutes now. It was so good talking to y'all. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. And if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply it to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mask a smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. Y'all, I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all be blessed. And remember, make some room. Ciao! I smile, you smile. I smile, we smile. I smile, you smile. I smile, we smile. I smile, you smile. I smile, we smile. I smile, you smile. I smile. Smile all over here, all smiles over here.